Uh, the basic old skincare routine is just like three, three products. Three? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you need to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day. By our use. Our so gig. Every oh. two hours. Our <laughs> 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 gig. I'm just saying, you got show. Hi, everyone. And welcome back to my channel. My name is Nonzi G, and I am with Zitobe today. <laughs> um, she's my absolute fave um, skincare influencer or skincare enthusiast. What do you call yourself? <laughs> I am a skincare enthusiast. Okay. Skincare content creator. Yes. <laughs> content creator. So I love, love, love her. I've been following her since um, last year sometime. And... You know what? I don't know much about skincare, but this hand has just elevated my game up. <laughs> so, introduce yourself. Hi guys, <laughs> um, I am Zizhobe Machedi, better known as Ovelele or the Skin Girl, and I'm with Miss Nonzi G. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you for <laughs> having me too. So, today we are going to talk about um, how to build a skincare routine that will be effective for you. So, we're going to be talking about like your basic skincare routine and then we'll also talk about like a more you know advanced advanced yes advanced <laughs> that you should get to but um so yeah let's get into it without further ado i think that's what they say yeah yes. okay so why do we need a skincare routine um so the reason why you need a skincare routine is to be able to keep your skin barrier intact and your mm -hmm. skin barrier healthy so it's just like the surface of your skin um and yeah you need that and also just to target your skin issues i think that's like why everybody is starting up on a skincare routine mm. um yeah but just to keep your skin healthy at the end of the day that's that's what we healthy need. and popping healthy and know. hydrated <laughs> So yeah, um, going back to what you said about um, targeting like your skin concerns or your skin issues, it's mm -hmm. super, super important to have a skincare routine that incorporates products that will help target um, your, your, your areas of concern like hyperpigmentation, um, dark marks, pimples, acne, all that stuff. So if you're suffering or your skin is suffering and you don't do anything that's a you problem True. and this is what we're going to talk <laughs> about today so let's start with like a basic basic nuance Zitobe I do not know what to do with my skin mm. I just use whatever so I just wash and call it a day so a basic skincare routine has three steps only three which is your cleanser your moisturizer and um, SPF so a cleanser is just there to cleanse off the dirt and mm -hmm. like all the environmental factors that like so um, pollution and all of that like mm -hmm. that's what you come into contact with on a daily Every basis day, yeah. exactly and obviously your skin does produce oils and all the and dirt gets trapped exactly all the debris so you need to effectively clean cleanse. clean that oh. off. Um, and also, I think that's why double cleansing is so important. But Even that's in your a topic basic? for another day. Yeah. Okay. That's, <laughs> well, if you wear makeup, mm -hmm. yeah. You a have. <laughs> okay. Then after you cleanse, right, then you moisturize. This yes. is still the basic routine, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So moisturizing is basically after you've cleansed your face, mm -hmm. now you're trying to bring back moisture and hydration. Well, um... Hi, when it comes to like not all moisturizers have like hydrating, hydrating properties, properties. Okay. yes so it's just to to keep the moisture within like the hydration within oh, your like skin oh like kind of like a sealant yeah like a sealant. sealant yeah oh, okay. to, to to avoid what they call um tewol t-e-w-l um trans epidermal water loss that's when like water evaporates from your skin okay and then what um, are some of your favorite uh moisturizers at the moment so i've been using one moisturizer for like years okay. only because i have oily skin and i prefer a much lighter like lightweight moisturizer so the forever living um forever living aloe vera jelly is my favorite okay okay mm -hmm. and you've been using that for how long for four years it's your favorite okay yes. and then after you moisturize then you use your sunscreen the right. most important step you can't of... miss up 
of skincare. You, you can't <laughs> say that you are a skincare person without using sunscreen. Literally. Like, literally. Fit your life. Yeah. Fit and life. also, <laughs> I just, it's like, if you're not going to, obviously sunscreen is just there for protection. Right. Right. That's, that's like the most important thing you should look for. And obviously the, 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 the level of protection. Mm -hmm. So, um, SPF 30 up. That's amazing. That's, that's great. That's great. Um, yeah. And you know, sunscreen, if you are struggling from acne, from hyperpigmentation, all of that, sunscreen is very it's important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, um, with hyperpigmentation, with the, with the sun rays, like it produces your, your skin as black people, we produce more melanin. Right. So yeah, with, with like, getting attacked <laughs> by the sun rays produces that's more, what's happening. Yeah, yeah, that's what's happening. Mm. Produces like more of these skin issues that we're trying to get rid of. So mm. like sunscreen is definitely very, very important. And I know people always complain about like the price point of sunscreens. Girl, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> it's but expensive. Thank, it's very, very mm. expensive. But thank God like they are like the market is coming up with more right. affordable ones. Right. Um yeah. Okay, and then tell me about the two finger rule. I'm still doing one, by the way. Are you? Mm. <laughs> I'll, I'll work my way. We're out. getting there. <laughs> um, so basically, the the amount of protection that you need mm -hmm. um, equates to a table spoon okay no two tablespoons no 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 a tablespoon <laughs> sorry That's a lot um, of sunscreen. so that is two fingers mm -hmm. and you need to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day by hourly so oh, okay every oh. two hours <laughs> but um there's a sunscreen that i absolutely love okay. from um clicks it's the Click Sun Protect. Okay. It's a hundred rand. Um, okay. Yeah, very good. SPF thirty. And then, how often do you like buy more sun cream? Um, it lasts me like two weeks. I mean, it's a yeah. hundred bucks. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> so like rather than spending um three hundred rand on uh, SPF, mm -hmm. you can get three of like the the, the Click same Sun. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so that was like the basic routine, right? Mm -hmm. So you do not have a routine. You don't know where to start. That's literally the basic, basic, basic one. So now we're going to go into like a more advanced um, routine, you know, for people who already have um, like a solid skincare routine, but now mm -hmm. want to add more things to it. So yeah, the first uh, um, step would be to cleanse, right? So we're double cleansing. So yes. we're using an oil oil based cleanser, and then we're using your regular yeah. cleanser. Your so based. your water based cleanser, yeah. right? Um, do you have any ones that you particularly like? I do. Um, I always gravitate towards. I used to um, like the Eucerin one. Okay. Um, but now I gravitate a lot towards the La Roche Posay one. Okay. Um, very great, very gentle. That's mm -hmm. also what I look for in a cleanser. Okay. Um, yeah. it should it should cleanse effectively and it should be gentle on the skin because a lot of people have the misconception that once you're done cleansing and you like, like yeah, your 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 skin needs to feel tight, yeah. squeak, squeaky clean. I used to think that. Um, but that's just you um, stripping your skin off of its okay. natural oils. oils yeah. yeah, and that's something that we should all avoid so after cleansing you are going to tone right yeah okay so I am now use an essence and a toner so would I start with an essence first and then tone or would I tone and then use essence it depends on the the the, the texture okay so if usually the essence is more thick than a than a toner because right. the essence is like a mixture of like a toner and a serum mm -hmm. um, so yeah your toner and essence or the other way around depending it on how on it the feels. on the texture yeah so you will basically with your skincare routine you will start with um, um, light consistency to and the heaviest heavy. consistency oh, okay. okay yes so after your essence then you you'll go into your serums yes. but it's still under the same bracket right um, okay so let's talk about the importance of serums Yes, I love me. <laughs> I love them. I love them. Okay, so mostly I use serums for this is when I do like the whole what's the word? I'm 
what I'm targeting. Yeah. Yes. yes. So yes. I'll use a serum based on whether I'm trying to get rid of um, like an acne flare up mm -hmm. or like hyperpigmentation or I'm trying to um, get more hydration into okay. my yeah, skin, skin, right? Yeah. So what do you use serums for and do you think we should like pay more attention to serums? Um, definitely. Serums, as I said, are these high concentration um, ingredients mm -hmm. like yeah a serum um, targeted for specific issues right so definitely it's not a basic though of skincare but I think it is something if you want to build your skincare routine to be more advanced like a serum is a good place to start, to start. Um, yeah um, okay so then after your serum what are we doing after your serum, then you can moisturize, moisturize just to seal everything in. Okay. Um, and also, yeah, to just moisturize and nourish your skin. Okay. And most of the time, like moisturizers also have like antioxidants. So to like fight free radicals and all mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So moisturize after that. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we are going to seal with an oil. Yes. Seal with an oil. Seal with an oil. <laughs> So, seal everything with an oil just um, to lock everything in yeah, just to and make I think sure. a lot of people think like oils are there to hydrate the skin and, and that's, that's not true yeah that's mm. a misconception so basically what we're doing is after all your hard work in your routine now mm -hmm. we're just locking everything in and yes. making sure that your skin products and whatever you've put on your face are going to work mm -hmm. effectively true. right okay <laughs> and then after that after you have done your oil then you are going to SPF right yes, SPF. do you use SPF in the evening no no and then you're also meant to use SPF if even if you're not leaving your house yes and then last question so I did like a question thing we both did a question thing on um, Instagram so is is a, ma a man's routine any different no. men's skincare is very basic and it's like you're not really doing anything <laughs> Just like I know men have such amazing genetics, but there is no such thing as like skincare for men. It's just market for marketing purposes. Mm -hmm. um, skincare is skincare. At the end of the day, we mm -hmm. all have the same skin. Um, I think men have more thicker skin right. than what we have. Right. But whatever I use in my skincare routine, a man can use in their skincare routine. Okay, so yeah. you know, like you can basically recommend or put men on like the exact same um, products that you use it really doesn't matter yeah you, you'll find that most products um, especially in our market is targeted at women you'll find more mm. women's products yeah. in, like in the aisles and then men's it's just like it's just the, one yeah shelf. so don't be afraid to just Hop you know, to the, to the <laughs> yeah, it's, all, it's, it's literally all marketing tactics, and like this one in five that's Aiko. nonsense, like it's just nonsense. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about um, different products for different seasons, right? Do you switch up your um, skincare routine based on like whether it's summer, whether it's winter? Um, yeah, in, in winter, obviously, um, I, I hydrate more, okay. Um, yeah, I hydrate more, and in in summer I prefer using lightweight things. Okay, lightweight yes, products. Yeah. So during the winter you'll add more like um, rich, um, let's say rich moisturizers yes. or heavier moisturizers. Mm. Would you still keep your same cleanser, same serum, same everything? That part is still the same, right? Um, and then just add products. Yeah. So yeah, but maybe I will I will switch up my cleanser and instead of using a gel cleanser that I usually use, mm -hmm. I will use like a cream cleanser. Okay. Yeah. Um and then incorporate in incorporate more like serums with um humectants which are hydrating. Basically what you're trying to do is just draw moisture, yes. draw more like hydrate your mm -hmm. face more basically. So daytime and nighttime routine, right? Um do you use the same products? Um, for both or do you like switch it up in your nighttime routine? Yeah, definitely switch it up. So in my morning routine, I will 
I normally keep it like very basic mm -hmm. so the three steps mm -hmm. and if I am going to be adding anything it's probably just like a vitamin C um, okay. serum so that it because um, vitamin C fights free radicals so right. it's, it's also supporting the work that my sunscreen it's is going doing to do. okay yeah and or just like a spot treatment okay. so like a benzoyl peroxide mm -hmm. or yeah or exfoliation sometimes um, like deviant skincare does there. I'm trying to get it. I know. But is she being yeah, I said. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are expo their um, exfoliant is super super like gentle, mm -hmm. and you can use it in the day as well. Okay, great. So yeah. Um, and then at night, because that's when your skin like regenerates mm -hmm. itself. Are you adding more more products that are yes. going to like? target whatever you're trying to fight mm -hmm. and then you're making sure that you don't like skip on anything because that's what you rest time right yes okay cool that's, so that's just when you add all your serums like all your sheet you masks. Are treating your skin yeah you are treating your skin so nighttime routines that was the question if nighttime routines are important mm -hmm. nighttime routine but don't skip that if you have makeup on take it off oh, don't it off. don't sleep with makeup Lale, lovely. <laughs> okay but yo sometimes i do and like you know you sleep with since makeup I'm, since i'm a put oh. <laughs> but like try like really do try someone asked how to incorporate um an aha like acids mm -hmm. into their skincare routine wouldn't that be part of um your serum element yeah it, it could be your serum or the exfoliant like itself okay um so in the steps as we say it it's it's cleansing toning um exfoli exfoliating and then you can put on your serum oh and then, okay but yeah. then with exfoliating you don't exfoliate every day yeah, do it. yeah definitely you are ruining thank you your... so much <laughs> for, for mentioning that you're ruining your skin barrier yeah what are you doing like, definitely <laughs> um i'm not a huge exfoliation person mm -hmm. like i do every twice every second day i'll break out <laughs> okay. but um i will try to maybe keep it at three max three times a three week three times a week yeah Hectic. if i'm having like a bad breakout okay. like a stubborn breakout then i'll like then three you'll... times max i but, yeah. it like once a week maybe. yeah and that's that's enough that's like the minimum yeah true like, and also don't our, do it every day yeah our skin naturally the cell Repairs yeah the cell. Mm -hmm. cell cell turnover happens so you you really don't need um an exfoliant you're just like assisting yeah you just turnover. okay yes. okay so skincare will always be trial and error and also remember that skincare is your personal journey yes. um what will work for you won't work for someone else and that's okay the information that we put out or the information that we recommend you with or like whatever videos and whatever that's you take that with a pinch of salt yeah you still have to go and do your own research mm -hmm. um i'm not a derm dermatologist i'm not definitely a but you're studying to become what Institution. <laughs> we we are gonna get there future very soon. <laughs> we are just manifesting it. Yes. We are <laughs> but yeah, um so thank you so much for this video. I hope it was informative. Um remember that skincare is your personal journey and build your skincare routine according to what your skin likes. Yes. Just remember the steps. I will list them so that you can see. But Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, check out Zitobe's um, YouTube channel. You'll find her on socials as well. I'll link everything in the comment section. But please like, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, let me know why. If you have any ideas on what you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.